Welcome back to the next Battleforge tutorial. As you all know, there are four powers in Battleforge. Fire, Frost, Nature and Shadow. Nature and Shadow we're going to reveal throughout the next month. But today, we're going to take a closer look about what's so special about Fire and Frost. In Battleforge, each power has its characteristic style of play. Depending on the scenario you choose, you want to choose wisely as well what kind of cards you pick, because it might determine whether you win or lose. Fire cards in Battleforge represent the more aggressive strategy. The fire cards deal a lot of damage, and if you would compare them to a class in an MMORPG, you would choose a damage dealer or a tank. Like the Juggernaut, for instance, he's a big guy, he has lots of hit points, he can take a beating, so you would send him to your enemies, and then all the little units, the destructive spells, they will deal a lot of damage. If you team up in the two, four, 12 player scenarios, you definitely want someone with a strong fire deck who can deal a lot of damage and kick the enemy's ass. But certainly, you want to make sure that if you go to the battles, you'll take someone with you who has a strong frost deck. Frost in Battleforge stands for the more defensive strategy. Units that can defend structures, buildings, or certain strategic important points in the scenarios. But what they also can do is they can walk behind the, the front wave and support your troops while moving forward. Also, what well, you see behind me, the freeze spell, it's not only handy in PvE, but it will also drive players crazy in PvP. I hope you learned a little bit about Fire and Frost today. In the next tutorial, we're finally going to reveal the next power, and it's going to be Nature. I'm very excited to show you the Shaman and the Razor Leaf, so stay tuned. There it goes!